The Coral Triangle covers an area of 6 million square kilometres, spanning the waters of seven countries. It contains vast areas of mangrove, seagrass and coral reef habitat. Coral reefs are referred to by some as the tropical rainforests of the sea. The coral reefs situated within the Coral Triangle contain 76% of all known coral species and over 2,000 species of reef fish, making it the epicentre of marine biodiversity on the planet. The reefs of the Coral Triangle directly sustain the lives of over 120 million people, either as a food or economical resource. With fisheries and tourism estimated to generate a combined value of $6 billion annually for the region. Some of the ocean's most charismatic megafauna are visitors to these reefs, such as both species of manta ray, who regularly visit cleaning stations in an example of mutually beneficial symbiosis with the reef fish, who clean the parasites from the manta skin. A variety of species of sharks, one of the ocean's most iconic top predators, can be found on healthy reefs. Unfortunately, both manta and shark populations in the region are declining due to unsustainable fishing practices linked to the traditional Chinese medicine trade. The reefs of this biodiverse region are currently under threat from anthropogenic impacts such as climate change. This is causing ocean temperatures to rise, resulting in worldwide bleaching of coral and ocean acidification, actively dissolving the coral's calcium carbonate skeleton. Destructive fishing practices using dynamite and cyanide damage the reef, turning it into rubble reducing the reef's natural ability to recover. Monitoring the health and changes to these reefs is important for their conservation. This can be carried out using a variety of surveying techniques. The most popular and widespread of these is the reef check. This is carried out by citizen scientists, often occurring at resorts where it is incentivised with free scuba dive. Data collected using this method, although basic, is added to a database of information from around the world allowing for comparisons to be made between other sites. The manta tow allows the surveyor to cover a large tract of reef while being pulled along from behind a boat. Visual and video surveys can be conducted using this method. The use of cameras, such as the stereo video system, allows data to be collected in a high level of detail. Post-dive, the lengths of fish can be determined as the system uses two cameras allowing for the calculation of fish biomass per site or transect to be estimated. Establishing effective conservation and management schemes will be crucial in stopping the negative trend of declining coral reef health throughout the region, ensuring that future generations can still make a living from and enjoy the extraordinary biodiversity of this special part of our planet.